Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing a clothing haul. I know I just did one, but I picked up some really cool pieces that I wanted you to be able to get, so I wanted to get this up as soon as possible. Let's get started. The first thing is, oh, and by the way, I'm wearing my new kimono and my new t-shirt, but this kimono is awesome. I absolutely love it. It's so comfortable, lightweight. You gotta get on the kimono train. Okay. So the first thing is by Maison Jewels and they just have really cute stuff. This is a tank top. Um, it's not a color that I normally go for, but I just thought, I, you know, I saw it and I instantly fell in love with it. There's a little pocket in the front, which I don't think I would ever use because it's so tiny. Uh, but it's a beautiful neon coral orange color and it's just so nice. And then, you know what, let me move the camera because I want to, I know in my last clothing haul I didn't show you how it looked on and I wanted to make sure I did that for this one. And then next is another tank blouse by the brand Alfani, which is, um, I've gotten, in this haul you'll see a lot of stuff from them because I just found several cute pieces from that brand. So this is another tank blouse and I'm getting these because the weather is warmer. Um, but it's just, I thought this was just a beautiful piece and normally when things aren't, um, you know, high end, they tend to go short on the details a little bit or uh, what I mean is most of the time shirts like this will stop the, the, the beading here will stop at the front, but this actually goes all the way around, which I thought was a really nice touch. And then this skirt is by INC or Inc or International Concepts and I believe that's a Macy's exclusive brand if I recall correctly. Sorry, there's hair all over my face. My hair, surprisingly, not Ava's. So this skirt is so cute. Every time I look at it, it just makes me so happy. So this is a navy blue skirt and that's the color theme of this video. Usually I have like a color theme or some kind of theme going on. It's navy blue. Um, so it has hearts, white hearts, and these hearts are not drawn perfectly, which I think even adds more fun or, you know, a different aspect to the skirt. And it's just so beautiful. And it does flare out at the end. And I just, I'm in love with this. You could pair this with so many things, which you actually see throughout the video. This paired with a few different tops that I'm showing you. And this is just, you could dress this up or dress it down, which is so awesome. And it does flare and uh, move when you move, which is nice. Next is, I believe it's, yeah, Maison Jewels again. Pineapples are really in right now. So I decided to get on that and I really like this with the polka dots. I think that just adds a little, um, just, you know, girly feminine touch. And I love this color, the color, you know, the white and the blue. And this material is kind of odd though. It's not stiff, but it's not the softest kind of t-shirt. Um, I think it actually might irritate some people. What's the material here? Oh, it's linen. That's why. I thought linen was supposed to be soft. I don't know. This says 100% linen, but it feels not linen-like or cotton-like, I guess. That shows you how much I know. Okay, next is, this is, I think this is, the next two things are out funny. Yeah. Um, so, this... <laughs> This just looks similar to the shirt I just showed you. It's navy blue, it's white. Um, but this shirt is so comfortable. It's it's stretchy, but it hugs your body just the right way. It doesn't accentuate any curves or stuff that you want to hide. This is just really nice. And I thought these were sunflowers, but I think they're actually um, chrysanthemum chrysanthemums. I can never say that right the first time. Uh, but this shirt is just really nice because it's cut a little bit differently at the bottom. It's just a really flattering shirt. I'm going to go check to see if they have different texture, not textures, different patterns for that shirt or plain patterns because it's a really nice top. Okay, next is Afani again. And I saw this and normally I don't go for uh, things that are, well, when I mentioned in the beginning the neon top but also things that have a lot going on but this shirt just really attracted me I think it's the red stripe in the middle again another tank blouse and there's a lot going on but since the color pattern is I think similar it's something that I really like and the stripes are going down so that's okay 
Uh, next is JM Collection. And I just saw this top and I was like, oh, you know, I don't have many tops that look like that, but I I really like this kind of top on me. I think they look really nice. So this is just, is this linen and I just don't know? It's cotton. I'm a fool. Uh, but yeah, this is just really pretty. It has nice detailing at the top here and pleating here. And it's just really pretty. And you could actually get away with wearing without like a cami of course i would wear a cami but there's like enough camouflaging here that you can you know wear like a black bra or a new bra or you know like a if you really want to show off i guess a, a bright colored bra but it folds on the arms and it's just a really flattering top as well so pick that up this cardigan is so cute it's by the brand August silk and they had I think this color and a red and then something that was a little different pattern but I this is just I love it it's so cute and it's a teal I think it's coming up more blue I don't know um, but yeah it's just really pretty and I'm wearing it um, with my sleeves rolled up but uh, this is just really really nice and I want you guys to get out go, go out and get that one uh, next is, you guys are going to think I am nuts, but I picked up this uh, uh, Cable and Gage sweater, and the clearance rack at Macy's is very hit or miss, and when you find those pieces that even though it's summer, it's almost summertime, um, I would jump on it because you might not see it again. So this is just a plain black sweater, but it's the neck, and then this detailing right here is just so nice that I could not pass it up. So I got this sweater. It's going to be great for fall and and winter. And then this is a bar 3 uh, cardigan. And it's one of those open cardigans and I just thought I love cardigans like this. I will bring this with me when I go to the mall or the movies. So and that's all year round. So um I just really like this a lot and it's it's I like the color <laughs> it's black and white I, there's actually you know what there's actually shimmer in there I hope you notice that it's really really nice and then for so that was all Macy stuff now is going to be JC Penny I saw I'll start with I guess the reason why I went there it's for this Avengers tank top that I saw oh my hair that's what happens when you try to give yourself bangs you get this really unflattering look um i saw i'm um, follow jc penny on instagram and they had this girl with this shirt on and i didn't know if it was a i, I assumed it was a tank but it or it could have been a t-shirt so but i was right at the tank it's just the avengers <laughs> They're little. I thought that was so cute. So I got it. I don't know if it's going to be pajamas or a shirt. Um, but that's the reason I went. And then I saw the mango section. And this shirt, it says the new Tropicana. All you need is beach, sun, and air. And I love that it's kind of like a vintage uh, picture on the front. And the sleeves are a little bit, it's like, you know, bright. It's a technically a sleeve but not really and then next is another mango piece and again this is like a vintage looking old school style of uh, floral print and it is a sweatshirt but it's so beautiful so I got that and then this tank top it's the brand is decree I absolutely love this and you would have seen me wearing this uh, underneath almost a, a lot of the JCPenney stuff that I was wearing. This is really nice and it comes up higher. A lot of tank tops I feel like want you to show off your chest which is you know show off some of it but a lot of the tank tops I feel like you're basically showing everything so this actually comes up really high and I'm definitely going to go back and get some more of these because they're while they're tight they're they just, I don't know, they just are really nice for underneath stuff. And then 
The last thing I'm going to show you is a dress that my sister had cut up a little bit the bottom and so um, I couldn't really wear it as a dress anymore obviously but I wanted to try and see if I could sew it as a sort of like a, a tank top tank <laughs> tank blouse and I was able to so um, this is from Forever 21 and she had cut up the bottom but I just hemmed it myself and it looks all right I love this pattern and I wish I could have worn it as a dress but the pattern is so nice that I decided to try to fix it and I was able to so I'm glad that I was able to uh, save that so that is the end of my clothing haul I hope you guys enjoyed it and I was gonna do a lookbook sort of video with these outfits but those are really hard to do and I have to give credit to all those people that do lookbooks and fashion videos and put looks together and do their hair and their makeup because it takes a lot of work and I'm gonna try for the next one because I do want to make better quality videos for you guys so wish me luck and I wanted to end the video on um, kind of like a serious note actually uh, Ingrid aka Miss Glamorazzi she recently put up a video on uh, coming out she's gay and for some reason that really I guess touched me or affected me that she um, put up a video like that I'm not sure why I mean I support the gay and lesbian community but just the courage that it took for her to do that and I normally don't comment on her videos uh, but I commented on that one because it was just really inspiring and it took a lot of guts for her to do that so um if you haven't seen it check it out i'm sure all of you have seen it um it's pretty big news and um hopefully there'll be a time when people aren't afraid and it's not big news um but yeah i just i was really touched by that video and i just hope the best for her I'm sure we'll never meet, but Ingrid, I wish you the best in love and life. That's something that I wrote on her uh, page. And I wish you guys a lot of happiness and in your life. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon, okay?